my first outing to Bunnings in two months and I've got a shopping trolley full of stuff I've been making a list for two months and I've got almost everything on it and then some Rosie and I went for breakfast this morning. The restaurants are opened up again after COVID-19. Not fully, of course, there's social distancing and all that. But we went to one of our favorite locals and it was absolutely full, literally full, which we've never seen before. I've never seen it full before. It was good to see. So anyway, we went for breakfast. And after breakfast, we went to Bunnings. My first trip to Bunnings in more than two months, nearly three. So I had a wee shopping list. And uh, I spent nearly 500 bucks. I would say don't tell Rosie, but she was with me. She allowed it to happen. And I got for some free pallets. Some of it will be kindling for the fire, but there's some nice bits in there if I can save them without smashing. I'm gonna get some nice wood out of this for handy for around the shed. A bit of kindling too. Let me show you the big pick the big ticket item I bought. <laughs> Light grey, sparkly, epoxy floor cover paint on. That's the next big project. Look at this guy. Just walked into my shop. <laughs> Hello. Not sure what he hopes to find in here. <laughs> Thanks for coming. See you later. Hello. 
before I show you my nice new shiny floor which I'm going to put down next week I have a lot more to show you so you have to wait to see the floor at the end of a long series of videos because I've got a lot of new stuff in my shed that you haven't seen me make yet so I've got a whole series for you to watch and guess what well you don't have to guess because I'm going to tell you I'm going to call this series make and do make and make and do make and do and that's a play on words because I'm making do with the tools that I've got and I'm making and doing stuff in my shed so make and do is my new series I think I'm going to do this as a series on the contact channel and there's a good reason for that uh, but I also have in mind that I might actually start a new channel called make and do but for now I'm actually going to put it on the contact webs on the contact uh, YouTube channel just to hold it there and start the ball rolling because I need to get it I need to get it started yesterday I sat down to edit some video and I got into a head spin about starting the new channel and new branding and all that sort of stuff and then I thought no stuff it I have a reason why this series of stuff needs to get out it needs to get out fairly quickly or at least it needs to start straight away because I have a new project coming up that I can't tell you about just yet and I'm going to a big meeting next Tuesday uh, to talk about it it might never happen in which case you'll never hear about it but if it comes off this could be a big new thing for contact I'm quite excited by it uh, and this thing that I'm leaning into with contact is sort of relevant to my own shed here where I'm making and doing in my shed and part of the process of that let me explain to I'm not a carpenter I've never had lesson uh, what well, no I have in agricultural college in Ireland about 35 years ago I had I think three or four one-hour lessons in ag college about just general farm uh, general yeah farm type carpentry and plumbing and welding and making and fixing I was also a helicopter mechanic in the army so I've got a technical brain but I'm not trained I'm learning as I go I'm learning a lot from YouTube I'm learning a lot from actually doing making and doing rinse and repeat I'm learning as I go and I think you'll see that in my video as I do one little project to the next the roughest guts projects but they're functional they've got me to where I am now I'm very happy I've made a lot of progress and the progress that I've made in my home garage here is directly relevant to the big project that's coming up if it comes up so I've got to get this video out to get the ball rolling to get my head into the right headspace to get this series running I hope you enjoy it I've enjoyed it I've, sorry this series started probably more than six months ago so I've been I've been GoProing my progress in the shed but I haven't had time or I haven't had the the right thinking I haven't had the impetus of next week's meeting to get me over the line to make a start on the actual editing because the editing is a big deal getting out here and doing the recording is not a big deal because I'm doing the work anyway I'm just sticking the GoPro 
in various places in the shed so I can talk to it and what you can watch what I'm doing so making the recordings is easy it's the editing that's going to take a lot of time but now I've got some impetus now I've got some excitement in my blood adrenaline I'm ready to get editing I'm ready to show you what I've been doing in my shed for six months and even more so since this COVID-19 lockdown I've actually what I say about COVID-19 is the lockdown is compulsory hobby with no guilt so I've been in my shed not every day but quite a lot I've got a lot done I've got a lot recorded on GoPro and now it's time to start editing so I can get it out and show you so this is a today video but I'm taking you back six months to look at where I started with this shed and then we'll go through a series of make and do to get you up to speed up to where I'm maybe comfortable to tell you what the next big project for contact is but in the meantime I've got a lot of nails to pull out 